All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov, and this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself in the moment. He stepped foot in the gym. He was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The free. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Alright, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dates? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Big elbow lands around the side of the guard. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. 
Nice punch lands over the top. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Jefferson. And there comes the separation now. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that kick there. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, He's man. to check these kicks. Or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nurmagomedov. Working the body with great effect here, DC. If you're the opponent, I gotta think you lower the guard at some point. You gotta lower the guard. If you lower the guard, it opens up the head. Look for the opponent to go back to the top. He starts to realize his opponent's now dropping his arm. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nice defense there, huge block. He's able to slip the left there. Nice body kick. Back and forth we go here. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot. That's incoming. Big knee land right to the back. That's not the shooter, folks. Back to the feet now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Single collar tie. Big kick land. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early and he lands off. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai prop. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Seconds remain in the round. All right, single collar tie now. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking run early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That horn sounds, sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Right, here we go with our next round. Shades of Tony Ferguson in the previous round. It's hard to hit a moving target, and he wasn't stationary at all. It's never stationary. His head movement just flows. It's not that he's standing still, head still, and then all of a sudden he moves left or he moves right. It's constantly just bobbing and weaving a little bit. He's like an old school grandfather clock where he's just moving left to right, left to right. It's never stationary, so you never truly get a beat on where the target is going to be. Look at you dropping a grandfather clock. I'm an old Look guy, I'm an old guy. 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken, and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Both fighters get up now. Big head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. That jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good punch land. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Nice kick. Tags him with the left. It's the elbow there. Come on, three punch, five punch. Big head kick lands. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Marco Medov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. That uppercut will work. Big clinch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Whiffs on the right hand. Beautiful body kick. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. 
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick. Nice shot to the body there. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Trying to establish that jab once again. Shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Clinch. Oh, beautiful chop with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from his position. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Big punch land through the middle. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Huge block there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Another leg kick land. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used his punch to get to the target. Head kick. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice right hand, John. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice sneaky head kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice straight right lands. Final seconds of round three. And now 
now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is... Oh. Superman punch. Oh, strong punch there by Nermago Medov. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Nice kick there by Nermago Medov. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Again, they clinch. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Nermago Medov. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And a nice job and quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Oh. A huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely runs? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Back to his feet. Oh, big punch land. Kick to the body by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Right-hand punch from the clinch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Combination lands for him. Huge liver kick. That might do it. Oh, massive driving punch. Plus to the head. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. High velocity elbow is blocked. Stay Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man punches true. Landed the overhand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. That one appeared to stun him. Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, 
Just out of range with that right hook. Clipped him with the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Take it to the ground. Take down attempt late in the round and he gets it. Oh, that is a high level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our nice next round, round gets yeah. underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. He's out! He's done, he's done. Oh, oh. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano is called to stop to this contest at nine seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Habib the Eagle, Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.